Hi, in this video, I'm looking at this problem here, where we're looking at a rocket that has an acceleration of 15 t plus 6 meters per second per second for a short time after takeoff, where t is in seconds. It takes off vertically from a height of 120 meters above sea level, and we want to use differential equations to determine its velocity and height after 5 seconds. So to do this, we're actually going to use the fact that so to do this, we're going to use the fact that acceleration is the derivative of velocity, which it is. Acceleration is a slope of velocity, so acceleration is given by the derivative of velocity. So that means if we go to our acceleration and replace the a with dv dt, we have that dv dt equals 15t plus 6. And so we can rearrange this as a differential equation and get dv equals 15t plus 6 dt and integrate. And so that gives us that v equals, well, the integral of 15t is 15t squared on 2 plus 6t, but we have this constant c. And so before we move on, we need to work out what the constant C is. Now, we're not given any information about velocity in our question, so we're going to need to make an assumption. So we're going to assume, so the rocket is not moving at the very beginning. When the time starts, we have no movement. So at t equals zero, our velocity equals zero. So that means that if I put zero in for t and v into these equation into this equation, I've got zero equals fifteen times zero squared on two plus six times zero plus c. And so all of this cancels out, and that means that our constant c is zero. And so that means that our rule for our velocity is just going to be 15t squared on 2 plus 6t. So now we have our equation for velocity. Let's see if we can get one for height. So we're going to have that height is going to be given by the fact that we know that v, our velocity, is the slope of displacement. So velocity is dx dt. So that means that dx dt is going to be given by this formula down here, 15t squared on 2 plus 6t. And so we can arrange this and get dx equals 15t squared on 2 plus 6t dt and integrate both sides, giving us that our displacement x equals 15t squared on 2 integrated is going to be 15t cubed on 6 plus 6t squared on 2. But we have a new constant c. So that means that x equals, well we can divide by 3 here, so we get 5t cubed on 2 plus and divide by 2 here gives us 3t squared plus c and we should just specify here as well that x is height above sea level just so that we're clear what our variables mean so now we need to work out this constant and we're given that it takes off from a height of 120 meters above sea level so that means that at t equals 0 our height, or x in this case, is 120. So substituting into our rule means that we have 120 equals 5 times by 0 cubed divide 2 plus 3 times by 0 squared plus our constant c. So that means that our constant is 120. So that means our displacement, or height in this case, is given by the equation 5t cubed on 2 plus 3t squared plus 120. And so now we just need to work out at 
t equals 5 seconds. So at t equals 5 seconds, we can work out our velocity. v is going to be 15 times by 5 squared on 2 plus 6 times by 5. And so that means that our velocity at 5 seconds is going to be 217.5 meters per second. And our displacement x is going to be 5 times by 5 cubed on 2 plus 3 times by 5 squared plus 120. And so that means our height is going to be 507.5 meters. So we can say after the first five seconds, the rocket is 507.5 meters above sea level and traveling with a velocity of 217.5 meters per second. So there we go. So if we have a problem involving rates, especially things like acceleration velocity, we can use differential equations to find equations for those different things and use our initial conditions or perhaps some other known conditions we might know to find what the constants of integration are and so if, therefore get full proper equations for those functions and then we can substitute in time or other values to find out what happens later.